Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Sapphire, my mono grass run. And it's time to get back to Devon Goods. Again! Because, you know, that's just what we do, you know, we have to help people do their job correctly. Whether, you know, they're employees at a big business, or, you know, cops. Seriously, why are cops in the Pokemon universe so bad at their jobs? They have to rely on a little kid to do their work for them. It's, it's embarrassing, you know? Ah, uh, well, it's not like it's gonna be anything I can use here. Well, let's, um, bypass you. I don't need to take you out with White Oak. You ain't worthy, Wishmer. Oh, that might come in handy at some point. Probably gonna wanna ignore you. You I'm not so sure about. Oh, a hiker? Huh. I don't really have any reason to fight a hiker. After all, what's the hiker really gonna do for me at this point, besides offer me some cheap, free experience? So let's go chasing after that, um, criminal here. Odd thug, huh? How dare you make off with a Pokemon? It's the worst crime imaginable. Using a Pokemon as a hostage. We're definitely gonna have to punish him for that. Harshly. Still don't care to fight the Wishmer, though. <laughs> well, let's grab this item first. What's well, just a Pokeball? Well, that feels like a somewhat worthless find, but okay, whatever. Why, well, are you coming? Come and get some, then! You know, it'd help if you didn't back off. You remind me of, um, Rosette there. Like, when we got a pet cat for a little bit, well, my brother basically, um, got a cat, and my parents actually made him get rid of it, but... It's like, I, he was watching it for a little bit, you know? <sighs> and, quite frankly, Rosette would just constantly growl at the cat, then back away. You know, just giving it room while trying to act intimidating. Like, that doesn't work, dog, if you don't hold your ground. I mean, if you're just gonna concede ground to the cat, it's gonna realize you're afraid and just run up and bop you on the face. Which is what it did, all the time. Um, let's leer at it. To be honest, Puchiana is not all that impressive. Thus, I suppose the accuracy lowering there might help it a little bit. Assuming it gets off enough of them. Well, I may want to switch out here. Yeah, I'm going to want to switch. I've been blinded by so much sand. Well, let's send out Tea Gardener. You can do it, Taya. Another tackle attack, huh? Oh, time for some bleach seeds. Ironically, those were far more powerful in Gen 1 because you actually could feed them into them um, toxic. Just something I probably should have taken into consideration when setting up Barney's moveset. Just be like, oh, I'm gonna set up toxic and leech seed on you, and then basically watch you massively bleed, you know? It's a very cheap method, but effective. Well, that's not going to really deter me at this point. I mean, you're just going to slowly bleed to death from, you know, Leech Seed. So even if I miss this turn, which may or may not happen, I'll still be closer to victory. <sighs> uh, it's a tricky world, that, to be honest. Ugh, this guy just doesn't know how to use his Pokemon. Probably should have had you as Howl, you know, after doing some sand attacks. Then I to try and kick some serious butt. All I do is steal some package from Devon. You want it back that badly? Take it. Yeah, I do want it back. Thank you. And, um, you can come with me, Pico. Or not. She does, huh? It's not like you really threatened her that, har that harshly. So basically, you want some, come get it, and then backed away like an idiot. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You usually can find me in my cottage by the sea near Pellberg Woods. Yeah, we're gonna need your help to get to the next gym, but I can wait for now. Okay. Gosh darn it. 
Uh, I might have to activate that repel just to spare me a few encounters over here. I just feel like the best time to use it, but gosh darn, can I not stand being attacked by weak Pokemon right now? Like, I just want to get my way through here and be done with it, you know? Ah, uh, shoot, just a bit too far. Ran right into that, and I was hoping to avoid her, too. Okay, Janice, show me what you got. A level 10 Meryl? Well, that's not gonna last very long. I mean, it's a water type. Against the grass team. <laughs> that's a terrible matchup for Meryl. Oh, I'm sorry, Pika Blue, a legendary poker god. All, all hail the Pokeball god here, you know? Yeah, that, that's an old internet rumor that we just can't let die. We must forever remember Pika Blue. <sighs> well, that takes care of that. I honestly don't have that much to talk about right now. Kinda getting a bit tired here, so I don't really want to think too much. Um, darn it, he did a reverse rotation there. Your bug Pokemon aren't that tough. Like, even your toughest bug Pokemon's not a match for me and my Pokemon, I guarantee it. Oh, Wurmple? Really? Well, first things first, then. Cookie hack. Well, Strange Shot doesn't matter to White Oak here, because I'm just going to keep hitting with Quick Attacks to fall over. Anything else feels like it'd be a waste of my time. Yeah, feel free to keep throwing as much strain around as you like. It it doesn't stop me from going in there and whacking with a quick attack. Seriously, you think after you saw that the first two times, you'd be like, oh, string of shots not gonna do much here. Um send out Taya. I'd like to basically try and keep these this team's levels roughly equal. Eventually, someone's probably going to pull ahead, though. Because some of them are undoubtedly going to be more useful than others. <sighs> well, that's not a bad call, I suppose. Both sucking each other's lives away. After all, I can only do um neutral damage with mine. I suppose I could technically try Stun Spore and... Hope he gets paralyzed. But honestly, I imagine this thing's hits aren't going to be hard enough to really matter if I just keep trying to absorb off of it. We'll see. I think in this game of um, attrition here, I'm going to win. <laughs> Come on, absorb. Man, I was hoping for a critical hit there. Oh well, is what is. Come on, just a little bit more, and we can kill this thing off. But I swear, K has got one of the most gimmicky of evolutions of all time. You know, having a whole shed ninja thing going for it. Honestly, I've never really found much use for shed ninja. I mean, its ability is cool, but it's got so many weak spots. It's not like the Wonder Guard's gonna save you from everything. I mean, you got, what, fire, psychic, it's just, it's just too many. I mean, if it could wall out basically everybody with its ability, then it would be perfect, or at least near perfect. <sighs> well, that takes care of this thing. <sighs> Silcoon, eh? Well, I'll leave Ted in there. At least this way I can leech seed it and have some way of getting past its defenses. Because I'm not going to have many other better options here. Because it's going to keep getting so gosh darn hard, you know? Question is, do I want to leave um, Ted in here? Um, might as well. Come on. Keep draining it, slowly but surely. I know, it's not a very effective move. But at this point, its tackle attack is going to be completely nerfed by the whole um, hardened thing going on. <sighs> Jeez. We should give her back all our health here. 
This battle's really boring me. That's why I didn't want to fight this guy in the first place. Because I knew this would suck. <sighs> Come on. Would you just die already? <sighs> Still got like half its health left. Man, this is tedious. Yeah, yeah, harden all you want. It doesn't change what's happening here. You're gonna eventually kill over dead from being drained of all your hit points. And man is absorbed a oh, weak attack, man. Like, even Giga Drain's not that great of a move, you know, when you get down to it. Sure, it gives you back health, but it doesn't have enough power to really warrant running it, unless you're going up against, regularly against, you know, rock ground types or something. Where you can pretty much one-shot them with it. I mean, usually I'd pick it up, I'd skip over it for, like, Razor Leaf or something. <sighs> or a Sunny Day Solar Beam combo, if you can get it working right. Of course, usually I throw that on something that, you know, wasn't weak to fire. I mean, Hound Doom's a good pick, you know, if you want to run Sunny Day and Solar Beam. <sighs> yeah, I got the goods back, alright. Oh, another Great Ball? I didn't really need that, but thanks. Oh, yeah. This is Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done for us, but... Um... Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard and slate ports? It, it would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, so can I count on you to do that for me? Yeah, stuck being a mail courier now. <sighs> well, at least we can um, get a prize from the guy, you know? Mr. Stone, huh? Hmm. I swear you, that sounds like an idiot having a Flintstone character, you know? Mr. Stone, Mr. Slate, stuff like that. So I'm going to deliver a letter to Steven and do for it. I guess I can do that too if I'm already having to be a mail service for the other guy. <laughs> gotcha. A Pokenav. Yeah, I never really bother with it. After all, there's other things I could be doing with it. I'd wish. Like, I wish it activated, you know, as a Pokemon verse. You know, because the verse seeker was just that great. Sorry, I don't know why I called it a Pokemon verse at first, but still, yeah. I'd rather have the verse seeker than what they just gave me. Far more utility. Gotcha. I swear you can pick up Cut in this town if I haven't done it already. Let me, um, check my bag. Yeah, I still have to go grab that. Okay, gotcha. That doesn't really help me out. Um, I guess I visited the wrong house. I assume you can't give me a cut. Yeah, I thought so. Let's see, what's this place? Oh, the Cutter's house. Okay. That makes it simple. Yeah, yeah. No, wait, don't say where. I can just tell by looking at you. Sure, you'll be capable of putting this HM to good use. Uh, I sometimes hate the fact that HMs have to be a thing, because the moves on them, for the most part, just aren't that good. Like, who in their right mind would use cut? I mean, you could use it, but why would you want to? Oh, yeah, rival. Uh, let's see. We can go in here and grab the quick claw, at least. And I guess we can talk to our rival and maybe battle him before we call it quits for this episode. <sighs> Pretty sure this guy gives me the quick claw. Gotcha, gotcha. To be honest, I don't know if any of my Pokemon really need the quick claw just yet. But I probably should go do a little healing maybe before we um talk to our rival. I'm pretty sure he challenges us to a fight. You can avoid that fight, but do I really want to? 
Mm, the answer is not really. After all, I could use those EXPs. Every little bit counts this early in the game. Heck, in the late game, they count for even more. Okay, well, let's see. Who do I want up front for this? We'll put Josephine up front. Um, I filled in a couple. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. That's only in, um... Emerald you can fight him here, isn't it? Darn, that's disappointing. Well, next time, we'll, um... Take a boat ride. Until then, see ya.